What's going on everybody? Dominic back here with yet another new power video. In today's video, which is part two of our 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate video, we'll be discussing uh, some maintenance tips as well as some warning signs to look out for and how to assess and treat them. So without further ado, let's crack right into the video. Okay, so now let's cover battery maintenance. So firstly is inspection. Please perform regular inspections following these steps. First, you want to examine the external appearance of the battery. The top of the battery and the terminal should be in clean, dry, and free of corrosion at all times. If you notice a bubbling of some sort, either terminal, that's when you know that your battery uh, possibly could be going bad. Then what you want to do is you want to check your battery cables and your connections. Replace any damaged cables and tighten any loose connections to improve the life of your battery and as well to keep your system and battery safe. Going back to terminal corrosion, terminal corrosion may adversely affect the battery's performance and present a safety hazard. So please keep your terminals free of corrosion at all times. Your equipment is only as good as the amount of time you maintain it. So always maintain your equipment and they will keep you going when you need when you need it the most. So when, in terms of cleaning, please clean the battery at regular intervals during the year following these steps. So what you wanna do is you wanna disconnect the battery from a charging source or electrical load, and then you wanna clean the top of the battery as well as the terminals with a damp cloth or a non-metallic brush. In terms of solvents you can use to clean this battery, uh, you can use uh, standard household cleaners um, and then make sure when you're done cleaning it, the battery is extremely dry. You don't want any residue left anywhere on the battery. And then when you're drying the battery, use a clean cloth and keep the area around the battery clean and dry. Ensure the battery is completely dry before reconnecting it to its charging source or electrical load. And then lastly, Check the battery voltage with a voltmeter to make sure that everything within your battery is in working order. Now let's take a look at some warning signs as well as some tips um, in general when owning this battery. So this battery must be far away from the heat source and high voltage as well as being exposed to the sunshine for a long time. Never throw this battery into a body of water and do not put this battery in a charger or equipment with the wrong terminals connected. So basically what that means is you don't want positive connected with negative and you don't want negative connected with positive. Avoid excessive physical shock or vibrations. Don't hit or stomp on the battery as well as do not let this battery fall from an extended height as you will damage the internals of the battery or the battery itself. Also, another important tip for this battery is do not use this uh, battery mixed with other manufacturers, types, or model batteries. So, uh, in essence, don't use a new power battery with uh, another company's battery. If you're gonna run this battery, purchase more new power batteries, just like this one right here, to run in conjunction to keep everything safe. And then lastly, when it comes to charging it, please use the matched or suggested charger for this battery. If you don't know what that is, please contact our customer support team. Number is right here on the screen and we will be happy to assist you in answering any of your questions. Here are some electronic characteristics of the battery management system as well as the many protection functions available. Rest assured that this battery has you covered. Now let's get back to the video. All right, everybody, as we close out this video, I hope that you guys learned a lot uh, and are better prepared for your purchase of our 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. If you guys have any questions or comments about the topics that I covered today, please make sure you drop them down in the comment section below, as well as our brand new forum page. Link will be in the description. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. It keeps bringing you guys the great content that you guys like. Also, hit that notification bell to be notified when the next video goes live. Everybody, 
You already know who it is. This is Donic from New Power, and I'll see you on the next one.